church, what does the cross of Jesus Christ really mean to you? Have you made what Jesus Christ did on the cross personal? Listen to what Isaiah 53, 6 says. It says, we all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. You know, on the cross, Jesus was beaten beyond recognition. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was beaten for our transgressions. The wrath that we deserved was placed upon him, right? By the time he got to the point where he needed to carry his cross, he struggled to even carry his cross physically. After being bit, beat and whipped, he needed help to carry it. And then, when he got to Calvary, right, he was nailed to it through his hands and through his feet. And then he was lifted up high to hang there and die a slow and excruciating death. But for what? For what? If we're going to keep picking up our old sins, if we're going to keep living in the shame and the guilt of our sins, then why did Jesus Christ go to the cross? Why all the agony? Why not just let us suffer what we deserved, right? Why not? Because for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son, that whosoever would believeth in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16, John 3.17 that says that God did not send Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So now I want you to ask yourself, did Jesus pay enough? Did he pay enough for you to lay it all down at the foot of the cross and allow Jesus to wash you white as snow. Ask yourself, was it sufficient enough to pay for your shame from your sins, past and present? Was it enough to cover your guilt from your shortcomings, from your addictions, from your failures, from your mistakes? Was it enough? Did Jesus pay enough for you to be forgiven? That's how you get rid of the shame and the guilt in your life. You bring it to the cross mentally and verbally. And you accept what Jesus done on the cross for you. And the next time you slip up, okay? The next time you make a mistake, the next time you sin, you go back to the foot of the cross and you wash at the cross. You allow Jesus' blood to wash you white as snow. And you can wash at the cross as much as you need to. That's between you and Jesus. You and Jesus. Keeping your conscious conscience clean in your relationship unhindered. I hope that that message brought you some encouragement today. If it did, please like and share and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an encouraging word. Because I believe and I hope that you do too, that the world needs more biblical encouragement. Now I'm going to end this video today with a prayer because God's word is activated through prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for Jesus Christ and all that he accomplished on the cross, Lord. Help us to receive it personally.
for ourselves so we can walk in the freedom Christ died to give us, Lord. And we just pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen.